The future of robotics is in our hands. Machines are really good at some stuff. In fact, they're better at certain things than we are, like chess or poker or go. They're better drivers than we are. They might even be better at recognizing human facial expressions than we are. But there's one place where we've got the edge over the machines, and that's in our hands. You see, our hands are remarkable. Take a look at them. There are more than 20 degrees of freedom in them. There's more than 30 muscle actuators to control them. There's nothing in the robotics world that has close to the versatility of the human hand. But we're seeing advances in robotics all the time, and perhaps one day in the future, robotic hands will make ours look like fleshy colored five-legged tarantulas or something. Yeah. One group that has been creating robotic hands for years is the Shadow Robotics Company in London. They built the Shadow Dextrous Hand. It has 20 degrees of freedom and little sensors in the fingertips so it can feel what it picks up. You might have seen them in motion with the Mole Robotic Chef. This is a pair of disembodied arms that supposedly can make a really mean crab bisque. Meanwhile, researchers over at the University of Washington have created what is called the Adroit Manipulation Platform. You see, hardware is just half of the robotic hand equation. The other half is software, the list of instructions that your robotic hands will follow when you want them to do whatever it is they're supposed to do. In this case, the researchers actually went with a different approach. They went with machine learning. They taught the hands how to pick up and manipulate things and do different motions, to the point where the hands could actually learn how to pick up a tube of coffee beans and rotate them in its palm and... Yeah, it sounds like a really lousy party trick, but trust me, this is a huge leap for robotics. Now, you might be asking yourself, why do robots need hands in the first place? What's wrong with clamps? Well, for the last half century or so, most of the robots we have built have been single-purpose devices, meaning they do one task and they do it over and over again. And in that case, you don't necessarily need hands. For example, if you're welding car frames together, you just need some sort of welding tool. But as robots enter our daily lives more frequently and we start to ask them to do different tasks for us, you need a more versatile tool. And a hand is a pretty good solution. Also, research into this area could benefit people who have lost one or both of their hands, and that's pretty awesome. In early 2016, Zhe Xu of the Yale Grab Lab and Emmanuel Todorov of the University of Washington unveiled their work, and it's phenomenal. It's the most lifelike biomimetic hand to date. They did a laser scan of a real hand and used a 3D printer to create a replica. They have 30 mechanical tendons that replicate the muscles in our hands, and to watch this thing move is beautiful and weird at the same time. They hope that it can actually act as a scaffold for research into regenerative medicine so that people could perhaps regrow a limb. And if that doesn't work out, we could at least use it as a foundation for the future research of robot prostheses, which is pretty awesome. Now that leads me to a question for you guys this week. If you had a choice, would you prefer a robot that has amazing language comprehension skills or a robot that has really lifelike human hands? Let me know in the comments below and explain your answer, because that confuses me. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the Forward Thinking channel, and join our think tank. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring the show and making it possible. And finally, use your hands to check out these other videos right over here.